Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Bishop Horace Michael. We are grateful to God on this, the day that the Lord has made, Saturday, August 27th, the year 2022, for this, our sixth day of our seven-day consecration, prayer, Bible reading, fasting, with my whole heart. This consecration in the month of August has been directed by the Spirit of the Living God to cause us to come to a place of examining our hearts with God. The Lord has stirred up our heart during this season that we need to renew ourselves in the practice of waiting on the Lord and seeking his direction. Any season of waiting is a time where you've got to trust God with everything you've got. The enemy will come at us with everything he has. And so with my whole heart, I stand loyal to the God of my salvation. The Lord is trying to get our attention and learning to lay before him is a priceless experience to listen with our whole heart, to pray with our whole heart, to fast with our whole heart, to read his word with a single focus that we will hear even the heart of God. Can you imagine the Lord speaking to your heart from his? That is the true heart to heart and with my whole heart I will bless his mighty name he's a good God he's a great God he's a merciful God and with all of my heart I give him glory honor and praise today our focus was on Mark chapter 12 Verse 22 through 28, I'm going to ask Sister Michelle to share the slides that I've given you at this time in the name of the Lord Jesus. We're asking you there to share the first slide at this time in the name of the Lord. This is our focus for the consecration with my whole heart. Seven days of prayer and fasting, which will culminate tomorrow. But we are looking to God to grant us a renewed sense of direction. The open doors, the provisions, the ways that God makes, that only he can make. Our total dependence on him for everything we need. The God that declares, I will supply all of your need. Somebody needs to say all. Oh. Somebody needs to declare all, all of them. Not one need left unmet. Not one need left unaddressed. He will address every need of my life. I have to learn to recognize the answers from God because most of us will recognize based upon our cognitive ability to associate what we see with what we've experienced. And so recognition is the recalling of a cognitive experience triggered by a present stimuli. Something that I see, something that I hear, Something that I touch, something that I smell triggers a memory and my cognitive ability recalls it. And through recognition, I'm able to associate what I see with what I've been through. But I speak prophetically over this entire congregation. Some things that God is about to do 
that you've never seen done before. It's going to be on. It's going to be beyond what you ask or think, beyond your cognitive ability to grasp, beyond your cognitive ability to associate. And so, beloved, I want to teach you that God's answers will not always be what you recognize. And so you must open your spirit to see with your heart, to see by the Holy Ghost, not through the mechanism of your natural senses, because it is through those vehicles that your cognitive ability is triggered with memories. The psalmist lets us to know that our meditation ought to be sweet. Our thoughts of him are to be delightful. And I want to help you to understand that even on this day, there's something new that's about to take place. But the newness of it is not necessarily something that you are not familiar with, but it's just taking it to another level. In this consecration, before we go any further, not only are we praying, not only are we fasting, not only are we giving ourselves to the word of God, but we are sowing into the kingdom of God. The Lord, to sow a $7 seed daily. Some have given more. Some have given every day. Whatever, if you go over and above, that sounds like God to me. And whether you are sowing electronically, we're going to go to our next slide right now so that you know that for those that have not been with us, there are several ways to sow. You can sow by going to our church's website, www.beulatabrocks.org. And there you can sow through giving to our general offering and donations button. When you go on our website, you'll see the ability to give. It's through the mechanism of PayPal and there you can sow your seed. You can also sow by cash app, dollar sign Beulah Tab Rocks, B-E-U-L-A-H-T-A-B Rocks, B-E-U-L-A-H-T-A-B Rocks. And when you give by our website or whether you give through cash app, please note, consecration offering when you give. You may also mail your love gift, sowing your seed of faith. And if you're doing it that way, you don't have to do it every day. You can sow one check or money order for the seven day period of giving to Beulah Tabernacle PO Box 100860, Brooklyn, New York, 11210 dash zero eight six zero Praise the name of God. We are traveling and I just need someone to indicate in the chat that you're able to hear us. Please let me know if you're able to hear us. Praise the Lord. I don't see anyone responding in the chat yet. Praise the Lord. I just wanna make sure that you all are able to hear us in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. <clears throat> God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. And so you can sow through the electronic means or through the uh, 
the giving, mailing of a check or money order, praise the name of God, and you can sell that seed. Uh, this is something that the Lord has put in my spirit, and I'm following the directions that God has given me, and it is for you to do it. Heed the word of God and heed the word of his manservant. Heed God's verse, words. Heed God's words. And whether it is through the servant of God or through the word of God, when you obey the Lord your God, so shall you be established. When you obey the voice of his prophet, so shall you prosper. Thus saith the word of God. We're getting ready to go into our focus scripture coming to us out of Mark 12, verse 20. Eight through 32. And I want you to understand and hear what God has. And as I was reading it and meditating on it, and this can be for someone's further edification, verses 33 and 34 are real good for this text as well. But this text harkens back to a text in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Shema Yisrael. Shema Yisrael. Shema means to hear or listen. And the Shema is a Jewish prayer that serves as a centerpiece for the morning and evening prayer services of those who follow Judaism. It is a tradition for the Jews to say the Shema as their last words, even with their dying breath, to quote and to breathe out these words. It is also tradition for parents, Jewish parents, to teach their children to say the Shema before they go to sleep at night. As we focus on this text in Matthew's gospel, let us understand not only the historical context, but also what the Lord Jesus is saying in response to an expert in the Mosaic law. He came to Jesus and inquired of him, wanting to know which commandment is the first and most important of them all. And the Lord Jesus responded to him, the first and most important one is Hear ye, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment and the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than thee. And the scribe said unto him, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth. There is whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God, and no man after that durst ask him any question. We are getting ready to go into our prayer. 
And I just feel the presence of the Lord even here with us right now. God is, he is the foundation for everything coming from God. God is love. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Beloved, let us love one another. This is found in 1 John 4, verses 7 and 8. Perfect love cast out all as torment. Let's position ourselves. We will have a word of encouragement coming from our precious junior missionary, Sister Zoe Alexis. Let every heart pray. Father, we bless your name right now. We give you glory. We give you honor. Lord, I thank you. You even put this in my spirit, Lord God, to guide your people. Thank you for bringing it back to my remembrance. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my clouded days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Join me. Let's take it up from the top. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I Love you more than anything. Let's do that one more time. Everybody, I lift. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne. For you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Let's lift this up to him. I love you. Everybody say, I love you. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. Come on and make that melody unto him. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. One more time. I love you, Jesus. Shake under the bush. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. 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 Oh, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Woo! I love you, Jesus. Oh, I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. 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 I love you
Lord, we bless your name. We bless you. Hallelujah. We come before your presence with thanksgiving, giving you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you that you have blessed us to see yet another day. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you that your presence is here right now. We thank you that you've lifted us and you've sustained us. We thank you, Lord, that even through these last six days, there's something happening in the atmosphere. There's something happening in the spirit. There's something happening your spirit my god wherever it is i know something is happening in the lives of your people in the atmosphere around us oh god oh your word Okay, Tishanda, okay, Shanda. My God, my God, I praise you right now for the Holy Ghost abiding on the inside. I praise you right now for every man, woman, and young person on this prayer line and in this consecration. My God, we give you glory. We cannot thank you enough for the heart fixing that's going on right now. Thank you for the Bless your holy name. My God, I bless you right now. And I thank you that you are at work despite the vicissitude, despite the difficulty, despite Lord God, what may be going on around us. You have taught us salvation. Hallelujah. It was with love that you drew us to yourself. It was with love that you looked beyond our fault. It was with love that you saw our need. It was with love and your tender touch. Oh God, that it was the healing that we needed. It was the mercy that we needed. Hey, 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 hey. My God, in due time, when we were without strength, Christ died for the ungodly because you commanded your love toward us. It was on mission. It was on assignment. Love came out of heaven. Love came down to earth. Love came down to mankind. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. But we bless your name. Hallelujah. Love found us in the gutters of life. Love found us amongst the shattered, tattered pieces. Love found us when we were in our mess. Love found us when we thought we knew it all. Love found us when we fell away by from grace. Love found us. Hey, it was your love from sinking sand. You lifted us with tender hands. 
You lifted us. We are lifted by your love. Lifted by your love. Because love answers the question. Love speaks to the question of the heart. My God, my God. Hey, love encourages us to move forward. Love reminds us of our purpose. Love encourages us to go on. Love is the cheerleader in the heart of the When the voice of pierces ha, the darkness and pierces through the noise ha, of the mind and the noise of the heart and the thoughts ha, that would bombard us. I praise you ha, because love makes the difference. Ha. Lord, we were called to love you. Ha. Woo! Our response to love is to love. Ha. Because we are human ha, and our proclivity is to respond in kind. Ha. Ah, God. Until we learn better, because you taught us in your word, my God, to love our enemies. Pray for those that despitefully use us, Lord God, to do good to them that do bad to us, because our instinct humanistically is to respond kind to kind, to turn the other cheek, is the commandment from you, to forgive those that have offended us is the commandment from you. But Lord, you start your relationship with us by showing us love. Something that we can respond to. Something that we can grasp. And even if our experience Experiences with love uh, have been tainted and tarnished uh, because of lust and corruption. Uh, it is your love uh, that blows uh, that blows our mind uh, when we think of how you love us. Uh, when we think of how you care. Uh, when we Think of how you have mercy. Your love blows our mind. And we thank you for that love and the mercy. And it is that love that brings the healing by the Holy Ghost. Our hearts, by your spirit, we embrace the Shema. And we declare to the, this prayer, emphasizing the, the unique place of God, that there is no no one likes him. This prayer emphasizing the monotheistic focus that God is one, undivided. We praise your name because there's nobody like you, Lord. We can search all over and we won't find nobody. We can search high and low, but we won't be able to find nobody. Because can't nobody do us like you. Nothing comes close to the love of God. Nothing compares. And even Paul declared in response to the overwhelming nature of your love that nothing I'll be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Not life nor death, not principalities nor powers, not things present nor things to come, shall be able to separate us. My kind of the most shunned. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. The kind of the You told us to love you with everything we've got. He shunned a little He turned a little 
to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, with the totality of our being. To love you with our heart. To love you with our soul. To love you with our intellect. To love you with our will. To love you with our mind. To love you with our imagination. To love you with our thoughts. To love you with our meditation. To love you with our understanding. To love you with our strength. Our body. Our energy. Our ability to love you with everything we got. Hallelujah. My God, I praise you because I'm speaking to your children. Even in the prayer, we yield our to you. We yield our minds to you. We yield our altar. A sacrifice laid. Oh, honorable All I have is all the old and I All I have is on the old We don't eat no food. We just drink. We bring his We but you told us to love one another, to love our brothers and sisters, to love one another, those that are close to us physically, to love one another, those who are close to our heart. Hey, those uh, who are related uh, by blood uh, and related by circumstance uh, to love, uh, to love, uh, to love, uh, love our neighbor uh, as we love ourselves. Uh, we forgive ourselves because of love. Uh, Lord God, I hear you talking right now. Uh, love works forgiveness. Love works ha, when we take care of ourselves. Ha. Love is working ha, when we nourish ourselves. Ha. Love is working ha, when we build ourselves up ha, and edify ourselves. Ha. And so this is how love works. Ha. And you told us to do this. Ha. What we do to ourselves. Ha. What we should do for ourselves. Ha. To do this for others. Ha. Oh God. So help us to forgive ourselves. Help us to love ourselves. Help us to take care of ourselves. Help us to nourish ourselves. Help us to build ourselves up. Help us, Lord, to do this so that we can do that. Woo! Help 
us to do this so we can do that. Help us to do this for ourselves so that we can do it for others. We know that it is not a prerequisite because your command, your command is for us to do it. Oh, God, Lord, help us. Holy Ghost, help us, Holy Ghost, help us, Holy Ghost. I believe the Holy Ghost is on the line. I believe the heart is being healed. And tonight we bless your name. We declare and decree. I will forgive myself and I will forgive others. I declare and decree. I'm going to take care of myself so that I can even take care of others. I declare and decree. I'm going to nourish myself so that I can nourish others. I declare and decree. I'm going to build myself up so I can build others up to this. I make appeal and promise. I make a promise to myself huh, so that I can be a blessing to others. Uh, huh, and no matter what I'm going through, uh, huh, no matter what I'm facing, uh, huh, I'm in my spirit. Huh, oh, bless the Lord. Uh, huh, oh, bless the Lord. Uh, huh, I hear his word. Uh, huh, there is no other commandment huh, that's greater than these. Uh, huh, let's put the word to work. Huh. Lord, tonight we declare and decree. Uh, huh, we're going to put the word of love to work. Uh, huh. We know that even the unlovable deserves love because uh, that's where we were. Huh. We were sinking in sin. Huh. We were off track. Huh? We were off our rocker. Huh? We were falling from grace. Huh? We had missed the mark. Huh? But Lord, you turned the table. Huh? And now we're not the same. Huh? <laughs> the tables have been turned. Huh? And love huh? is more than burnt offerings huh? and sacrifices. Huh? We love you, Jesus. Huh? We worship and adore we just come to tell you, Lord, we love you more than anything, more than money, more than popularity, more than people, more than fame, more than a title, more than a promotion. We love you more. Hallelujah. If we never see another thing, we love you, Lord. Our love won't change for you. We will declare, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. We love you. We love you. This is a love affair for keeps. Glory to Shakana Moshea. Woo! It's a love affair for keeps. My God, I thank you. You've touched us for our good. For the mercies of God endure forever. You've touched us. And we've never been the same. And Lord, we love you. And even in our growth and development, every round goes higher and higher. We will never be the same. And and so, Lord, ha, we commend ourselves unto you. Ha. We bless your name even now and ask, Lord God, that you will breathe on this line. Breathe right here upon these present. Breathe right here upon these present. Oh, God, breathe on them. <clears throat> breathe on them. Breathe on Sister Michelle. Ha. Breathe on every visitor on this line. Ha. Breathe on one, three, four, seven, two, one, seven, two, five, three, four. Breathe on one, six, four, six, six, four, three, six, six, five, seven. Breathe on seven, one, eight, two, nine, six, six, seven, nine, eight. Breathe on seven, one, eight. Four one nine zero six nine eight nine. Breathe on seven one eight seven five nine seven zero nine three. Breathe on, senior missionary Bernadette Tinley. 
breathe on. Missionary Brenda Henley, breathe on. Social missionary Carla Lowry, breathe on. Social missionary Sharice Jones, breathe on. Sister Claudia Combs, breathe on. Deacon Michael, breathe on. Sister Denise Sutton, breathe on. Dr. Selena Marbury, breathe on. Galaxy S20. FE5G, breathe on. Brother Harrison Campbell, breathe on. Jennifer Green, breathe on. Melanie Thompson, breathe on. Michelle Harris, breathe on. Mother Jones, breathe on. Mother T, breathe on. Sister Sandra, breathe on. Sister Davis, breathe on. Sister Elliot, Breathe on, Lady Michael. Breathe on, Sister Zoe. Lord, let your breath breathe on your people, the breath of life. Breathe on them, the breath of healing. Breathe on them, the breath of peace, the peace of God that passes all understanding that will keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Lord, you're doing something right now. Hallelujah. And while you're breathing on others, my God, I ask you in your mercies to breathe on me. Breathe on me. Breathe on me, Lord. Breathe on me. Breathe on Apostle Jones right now. Hey, Breathe on our leaders, Lord. Breathe on, Lord God, our diocese. Breathe on our pastors, Lord. Breathe on our first ladies. Breathe on the PKs, Lord. Hey, Those that serve with excellence and are often sometimes not recognized. Breathe on those, Lord. Lord, it is your Holy Spirit that gives life. Your Spirit is life. The Spirit giveth life. The Spirit is life. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that you speak are spirit and truth. It's power in your word. Power in your ruha. Power in the breath of God that caused a man of clay to become a man called Adam, a living soul. The breath of God that came into a valley of dry bones and raised up an army. Oh God, and if you can do that, you can do that, Lord, even for our young people. You can breathe on our young people, Lord. You can bless our young people, Lord. Look upon them, Lord, our children, our young people. Look upon, Lord God, our seniors. Look upon, Lord God, those whose hearts are broken and grieving even now, who've lost loved ones recently, Lord. We lift up our precious sister, Judy Groover, right now, just coming from the homegoing service of Mother Nettie Groover. Lift up, Lord God, Bishop Michael Fields, the passing, the loss of his precious wife, Lady Melissa Fields. We lift up Shekinah, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, we lift up, Lord God, your people all around the country, Lord. Hey, God, District Elder Kinlock, and the loss of his wife, we lift him up before you, Lord, and ask your mercies. Our precious sister Davis, with the recent loss of her uncle, Lord God, we ask your mercies, Lord God, to strengthen and sustain him. And Lord God, all those whose names, Lord God, we can't recall right now, but you know them name by name, situation by situation. We ask, Lord God, that your mercy, Lord God, would extend to them, even Lady Miller right now. Lord God, we ask your mercies, Lord God, to step into that hospital, step into that convalescent home, step into that nursing home where she is right now and breathe on her, Lord. And we commit all things into your hands. We love you. We love you. We love you. Somebody give him praise right now. Somebody open up your mouth and give him glory. We're in his presence right now. We're in his presence right now. We're in his presence right now. Your healing is here. Come on. Whatever your heart is going through, whatever your heart is going through, 
uh, tonight, today, <clears throat> it's a love thing. It's a love thing. We don't serve him because of money. We serve him because of love. We don't serve him because of popularity. Love's got everything to do with it. And even when some have gone astray, it wasn't money that brought them back. <clears throat> it wasn't promises of popularity or fame. Love brought them back. It was love that brought the prodigal home. It was love that caused the woman that lost her silver coin to look until she found it. It was love that caused the shepherd to go searching for that sheep. Although he had 99, he went to find that one. And when he found that one, he celebrated. And tonight, Lord, it's love. We thank you for your love. Your love is working right now. Your love is working right now. It's preparing us for more. It's preparing us for you. It's preparing us for more. It's preparing us for you. It's preparing us for more of you. And so we lift our hands in total adoration unto you, our God and King. You reign on the throne for you are God and God alone. Because of you, our cloudy days are gone. Lord, we sing to you this song. All we want to say is that we are in love with you more than anything. We love you, Jesus. Somebody tell him that you love him. We worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, that we love you more than anything. Somebody tell them hallelujah. Somebody tell them hallelujah. We're getting ready to go to hear the word of the Lord tonight through our junior missionary, Zoe Michael. I'm grateful to God for this young woman of God. She's about to share with us a word to bless our hearts. And so brothers and sisters, we're going to pivot at this time and we're going to ask Zoe to unmute herself and share with us what thus saith the Lord. Receive her in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Please let me know if any time that uh, it, my surroundings get too loud or if my sound disconnects for any uh, reason at all. Um, I'm actually currently outside, so please let me know if there's anything that interferes. But from the scriptures that were for today, and the theme for the fast being with my whole heart, two scriptures stuck out to me specifically where it was Mark 12, verse 30 and 31. And that said, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. And then also the second one went on to say that we should love our neighbor as ourselves. And when I thought about these scripture passages, I thought about people who loved the Lord with their whole being, with their whole heart, unashamedly, unashamedly in any circumstance. And the two stories that came to mind were Daniel and also the three Hebrew boys. And the reason that these two things came to mind because they were similar, they are similar to even our lives. That in every single circumstance, in the fine times when things are okay, and when things are coming up against us, we remain to love the Lord. And what I looked at in these two passages was that concerning Daniel, he loved God and wasn't ashamed of his God. And others sought him to hurt him and to, to combat him with his love for God. And it even cost him, could cost him his life. And even in that time of deciding, should I keep my life? And, and, and do what I'm told and stop openly praying to my God? Or do I love him enough to keep his commandments and keep his word? And it just also showed love for, for himself, how he stood up for himself and how he remained true to his word. And with the three Hebrew boys that they refused to bow to the statue because they loved God, not because, oh, this is a king and we don't wanna serve this king just because he is he, who he is, but because they had a reason in their hearts, a reason in their minds 
and they were set to the standard of their lifestyle to love God wholly. If that made others upset, if that made others feel uncomfortable, to love God wholly. And that was their first focus in spite of the fear, in spite of the troubles around them while they were waiting on the Lord and on their way in prison. The three Hebrew boys were waiting in prison and, and Daniel was waiting and he went into the den and had to wait all night. While they waited on the Lord, their hearts were still full for him. They weren't turned away from him, but their hearts were still full. And what the word of God tells us is that out of our mouths, it pours out our hearts. What is in our hearts, what is in our minds pour out. Out of the abundance of our hearts, our mouth will speak. So even in these crazy situations, their flesh didn't rise up to speak. Their hearts, what was truly inside of their hearts spoke out. And these instances spoke to me because even while we were on this fast and while we were fasting, I was going to work for the beginning portions of the week. And every day that I was getting up to go to work and work with all these children that were around me, I said, God, this is my sacrifice. I'm not eating as much as I do because this is my sacrifice to you. Lord, it doesn't feel good on my flesh, but I am sacrificing for you, oh God. I am sacrificing my time. I am sacrificing my money. I am sacrificing my food. This is a pleasurable sacrifice unto you, oh God. And it made things even better. I felt strength that I didn't normally feel when I eat full when I eat full meals. I felt joy that I didn't usually feel every day when I go to work. The heaviness wasn't on me as much because my focus, what my heart was focused on God, was focused on the one who sustains me, who gives me my strength. So even while we wait, and even while I had to wait on my job, there were days that weren't great. There were people at my job who didn't necessarily like me. There were people at my job who would try to talk bad about me and spread, spread lies against me and go to my bosses and tell them things that weren't true. But even in the process of waiting and staying there and remaining and focusing on God and not letting my light be diminished, saints of God, I'm here to tell you that God came through for me, that I didn't even have to speak up for myself, but others came to my defense and told people around me who I was, what my character was, because I wasn't ashamed to tell people about my God because he was in my heart every day. When they heard me speaking, when they saw how I treated people, he was in every bit of me. So I encourage you right now to love your God with your whole heart, with your mind, with your strength. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And sometimes people might think that our strength in loving God means we must be strong. We must stay strong. But the real thing about it is he gives us strength in our weakness. Have you ever heard the scripture that says his strength is made perfect in our weakness? Even in the moments that we get weak loving him, even in the moments that we get weak praying and waiting on him, his strength is perfect in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. So even with that strength, if you might not think it's big, if you might not think, oh, Lord, this is, this is nothing. What does the Bible say? We just need a mustard seed size of faith and we can move a mountain. If we give God our all, no matter what the strength is that we have, hallelujah, he will do the rest of the work. Hallelujah, Jesus. We have to love him with our whole mind, keep our thoughts on him. Hallelujah. When things come around us that are difficult, if your children are acting crazy, if your family members are arguing, oh God, hallelujah. If your job is just flipping out, hallelujah. We think on the good things of God, hallelujah. Because that's what his word tells us, to think on the things that are just holy, pure, the great things of God, hallelujah, hallelujah. To keep our minds stayed on him. Thank you, Jesus. And he will keep us in perfect peace with everything going on around us. Why do you think the Lord tells us to love him with our mind, with our heart, with our soul, with our strength? Because he is our sustainer. He is the one that keeps us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And even in the times when David, when, when, when Daniel and the three Hebrew boys were going through their situations, hallelujah, their hearts were still godly hearts. They didn't wish badly on the people that were trying to hurt them. Because sometimes while we're waiting on God, it could be a period of waiting and growth and preparation, but also a time of testing to see 
Will this child of mine keep their hearts the same? Will they keep their focus the same? How they go day to day to day talking about me. But when I give them a little trial, when I give them a test, are they going to stay the course? Hallelujah. And that's exactly what they did in the Bible. They didn't tell, they didn't tell Nebuchadnezzar, oh, you're a terrible king. And we hope that, the, that God sends fire down on you and burns you in your sleep. They didn't say that to him. They remained steadfast to God and said, we will, we will eat what he tells us to eat. We will fast and pray and watch God do the work for us. Watch God do the work on our behalf. Hallelujah. Because he is able if we keep our hearts and our minds on him. Hallelujah. 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 If we keep giving him love with our soul and with our mind, and if we continue to love others as ourselves, not just to love others well, but as ourselves. Hallelujah. Even the person at my job who treated me so badly that was seen by everyone at my job, God put it in my heart to help her, to give her a gift. And I had to think about it for a second because I said, Lord, is this just me being extra, trying to be nice to somebody? And God said, no, this is what I'm telling you to do. Because even as people treat you wrong, you have to still remain with my love, not with your love that is changing, but with my love that is never changing. Hallelujah. His love will never change on us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we have to love others with his love. We have to love them with his love when they want to treat us wrong. Hallelujah, Jesus. We have to look past our flesh. We have to look past our emotions and love him with his love. So saints of God, as I come to a close and, and we end this to not take up too much more time, I remind you to keep your whole heart with God because he will lead you where he needs to take you. He will lead you. He will open every single door that people try to shut in your face. He will open every single door that has felt locked for years. Hallelujah. Keep your whole heart with the Lord. Keep your whole mind. Keep your strength with him. Hallelujah. Keep your soul stayed filled with his love. Hallelujah. Keep loving others with the love that he gives to us. In the name of Jesus, I ask that you pray for me. Pray for me as I pray for you all in Jesus' name. God bless you. My God, my God, my God. Somebody give God a praise even now. Can you give God a praise for, the what, for what God is doing, for how he is perfecting you, for how he is making you, for how he is taking the love that he's poured on you and perfecting you through the process? Hey, Kandarabushanda, Lord, we thank you for that word from your servant, and Lord, I pray that even now, as we bring this evening's prayer service to a close, that we will hold fast to what we have heard, that we will take heed to what we have said, that even the prayer tonight would leave an indelible mark that will remind us through the most severe trials and tests that your love is perfect and that you love us so. And so, Lord God, look on every person that's on this line. Let them be blessed and strengthened, even as we prepare ourselves for one more day. Oh, God, one more day's journey. One more day's journey. And even, Lord God, now we lift our hands to you in praise and thanksgiving. Now let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. Tomorrow is the last day of the consecration. Our focus is Jeremiah 29, verse 11 through 13. Pray and meditate on that. We will end the consecration at the benediction tomorrow for our worship experience. Those of you that are in the area that can join us at Beulah, Please come and be with us. We want to see the people of God in the house of God on tomorrow. It's going to be a special day. There's going to be a special word. The spirit of expectation has touched our hearts to trust God for a miracle. And I'm believing God that God is going to work a miracle. There's still time for God to work a miracle. 
God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. Stay encouraged. Stay on point. The victory is ahead. And we're almost there. God bless you in Jesus' name. Good night.